This video will provide some guidelines on citing articles, including journals, magazines, and newspapers using MLA style. Watch the other MLA style videos for citing different source types. When citing an article, you need to find the following information. The name of the author, title of the article, title of the journal, volume and issue if you have it, publication date written as day, month, year, or minus the day and or month if you don't have that, and page numbers. For the access information, you include the database title if you accessed it from a database, then include either the DOI, which stands for Digital Object Identifier and is the preferred choice, if you don't have a DOI, then a permanent or stable URL, or as a last resort, whatever URL is provided plus the access day, month, and year. Let's look at some examples of a stable URL or DOI. Different databases put the permanent or stable URL in lots of different places, as seen here. Look for something that says permanent URL or permalink or maybe stable URL to tell you that it's a stable link. However, notice that a long link from the top URL box of your web browser is usually not a stable URL. Here's an example article with a DOI. It is located next to the volume, issue, and other publication information. Here are a few other examples of what a DOI looks like in various databases. Most DOIs start with a 10, then have a bunch of other numbers and letters separated by periods or slashes. Sometimes DOIs are written as a URL with HTTPS at the beginning, and sometimes they're just labeled DOI. MLA wants them to be written with just a lowercase DOI colon before the numbers starting with 10, so sometimes you need to edit it. Let's look at our template citation again. MLA uses the same containers concept for articles as for books. The article is the actual work we're citing, but it was published within the container number one, the publication. Notice how the publication details are formatted here, lowercase vol period, no period, the abbreviated form of the month, and pp period before the page numbers. Finally, we accessed it from container number two, the database. Now we can make a citation for our article from a database with a DOI. When we have multiple authors, we do last name, comma, first name for the first person, plus middle initial because she includes that, then the following authors are first name, last name. The first container title, American Review of Canadian Studies, is in italics, then list VOL period 46, NO period 4, December 2016, and the page range. Then the second container is the database name. I got this one from Academic Search Complete. If we truly can't find the database name, however, then it's acceptable to use the vendor name, such as ProQuest or EBSCOhost. Last is the DOI, but we have to edit it a little. Write a lowercase DOI, colon, no space, and then the numbers starting with 10 after it. If we're citing a work that is missing parts of the citation information, such as volume or issue, date, or page numbers, you can just leave that part off. This is very common for newspaper or magazine articles. It only has the date and title information for container number 1. Notice that for container number 2, MLA also has you edit the retrieval URL just a little bit. You take off the HTTPS part at the beginning. The only additional citation piece you might add is if you're citing something from the visible web, not from a database, as in this example. In that case, you add the access day, month, year after the retrieval URL, because we all know how often free or visible web URLs will change. You may be noticing by now the two different formats for article titles and publication titles. The same title punctuation rules apply for articles as we use for all sources in MLA. The article title, which is published within a larger work, is in quotation marks, and the standalone title of the newspaper or journal is italicized. The database name, if it is used, is also considered a standalone title, thus it would be italicized too. This page contains some other useful sources and good examples for MLA citations that you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Don't hesitate to contact the library with any questions about citations.